everybody, this is Praxis, and we're on the north side of the house. And as you can see, going in line with how I have the fallout shelter root cellar uh, and so many other things on this house which are kind of dual purpose, the back wall clearly is going to be adapted into a 16 by 9 outdoor movie screen for drive-in movies and things of that nature. Might be an extra little source of revenue. I'm just kidding about that. But isn't it? It's just a really big flat stretch of wall right there. Um, it's the only only wall in the house that doesn't have any windows on it. So. But that's not why we're back here. Why we're back here is because what I've been doing all day is just putting roof boards on. You guys have seen enough of that. Roof board, roof board, roof board. You know, trying to keep them in line. I mentioned about how I had like the measuring lines up there and everything. It's been going really well. My dad's been here today though, and what he's been working on is kind of interesting. We're working on some uh, boards that go over the um, each of these uh, windows that are set into the foundation. And the reason that I have those is because what's going to be put on top of this is just more foam. This foam down here, uh, you know, foam that goes up the, the entire side of the roof. It's foam below, foam above, foam everywhere. And uh, that would be a, a really easy entry point for rodents or anything that might want to dig up through there. So we're putting on these boards. My dad's working on run right over here. That are, are going to cover and block entry into the foam from this area here. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about, what I'm holding right here, is some borax. Now, insects are something that we all face. They all they're always finding some way into the house, and you can't completely, you know, maybe, well, maybe you can. Don't come to me for advice if you want to completely defeat the insect problem. But there's all sorts of little things you can do to make it more difficult for them. And one thing that I'm doing here is before uh, we put down these boards, uh, I'm putting down some borax. So if there are ever termites or carpenter ants or anything like that that might want to kind of come up through here and then worm their way into the house, they're going to meet a nice big pile of borax. Now, I did some research and borax is apparently something that you can put right on boards. In fact, I was thinking about mixing this with water. Later on, I got some sprayers and I was going to do maybe kind of like a spray wash of borax water all over all this kind of stuff. But I want to have like a really aggressive policy of borax down here. And what I'm going to do is just pour the borax right over the foam area here and kind of the same thing on the other side. My feeling is is that you can't do too much until it becomes a pile that's so hard, uh, tall that it starts actually interfering with your boards. But I got a nice big pile there. Now I'm only putting it next to the window right now because we're putting the boards down and this is the time to do it. But later on before we put up all the foam on the side of these walls, there's going to be borax right across the whole thing. Borax is a natural thing. It's like a, kind of an acid. It's a, it has a texture that tears apart the exoskeletons of creatures. I, I guess it's, is it mine somewhere, Dad? Do you know? I believe it is, yeah. Yeah, it's like mine. It's not like some kind of like terrifying chemical. It comes from the earth, uh, although there are plenty of terrifying chemicals that come from the earth. Radium and everything. But this doesn't seem to be a problem for human beings. I'm not going to go and eat a bunch of it. But this is something that's, you know, fairly innocuous unless you have an exoskeleton. So that's why we're going to be dumping it all over here. Now, uh, in the interim, between uh, doing this and, you know, finishing this whole thing off, we're going to be having exposure to rain and everything. In fact, having done the roof, uh, you know, the ceiling boards, there's going to be extra water coming down this side. So I'm going to be putting some plastic on a little nailer board to kind of protect this, keep it from being washed out to the best I can with that. But that's the idea. Borax in advance, prophylactically, to try to keep the insects from coming into the house later. That's it. Thanks for watching.